Okay, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Metroid Prime Time. Ooh. Let's go. Metro Prime. Ah. Haven't played uh, 20% already. Didn't play that much lately, so excited to jump back into the game. Oh, I really like the title music and the main menu music also. Uh some good music in this game. Alright. Yes, we were in the Fendrana Drifts where we last left off. The Ice World. Ice Samus. You ready to go? Oh. Little hitch there. It's all fine, I guess. Yes. Yes. We want to get there eventually. We, with our first mission of today, like, my main mission today is to show off a really, really cool trick to getting the next beam, the wave beam, the purple beam. Uh, it's really cool. I hope I can pull it off. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we gotta get the boost ball. That's also in this level. Um, right through that door. So it's not that far. So... Let's go get that boost ball. We need to boost with our ball. I uh, hope I can remember how this game controls. Pretty okay. Uh, how about this? Can I break ice with ice? The answer is no. Oh yeah, can't beat those things unless we have the wave beam, which we do not have yet. Yeah, it gives like a static screen effect uh, when you get close to them. It's pretty cool, because you know, Samus is in a suit. <laughs> and yeah, these things... I remember these things. They're just babies. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say by looking at them, but they're just babies. Ooh, what's going on? Break their shell. I can hear a power up somewhere. It's like in this, uh, in this room. Ah, it's here. It's, you need, do I need the plasma beam for this ice? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, that's too bad. I do not have the plasma beam. What are you anyway? Some kind of ice buck? An ice burrower. I'ma just ignore y'all. Ow. Nothing else here, right? So... Now we're just back in the main room, but up higher. There's also a trick, maybe I can try it later, to get like out of bounds from like... Boost jumping from here all the way to the far edge there. And like walk around. Um, that's a little hard, we can try it, but... Missile upgrade there in the corner. Forget how you get that. Maybe you have to use a super missile on that one. Uh, anyway, boost ball. Don't get too distracted. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't use your charge beam with those things around. They will come for you.
Okay, it's this room for sure. Oh. Can't jump quite high enough to, to skip this skip this fight, but well, they're not that much of a threat. What are buttons? Okay, lore. The power of the artifacts. Gotta get all 12. Collect a thon game. Oh, uh, yeah. This game is one giant fetch quest, but aren't all Metroid games. Bum, 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 bum. There's our shortcut. Yes, I need we need this door. <laughs> Ouchie. Yes. This is the room we need to be in. At the end of this room is the boost ball. If you can see the mini map, it's in that tower at the end there. Um I think like above there, there is also another power, or maybe it's down there. Time for some first person platforming, woohoo! But we have the um, space jump boots, so this is much much easier than it normally is. Much much easier. Oh yeah, boost ball. So boost ball is something new to the Prime series. Like most of the upgrades that we saw were already in other Metroid games. Um, but boost ball, we can make our ball glow, and if we charge and release, we can like pinball. <laughs> Basically, pinball our way. Uh, we can make Samus move like that, and also that's why there's all these half pipes in this game. Maybe you've already noticed in some levels, but yeah. Now you can do this, Samus Erwin's Pro Skater. Gotcha. Um, there's a bridge there which I think we can lower somehow. Ah, oh, yeah. This thing, maybe. There's nothing else down there, right? Ah, some lore. Not that important, but why not? Many chosen have died. It turned. Black with fell and tensions. Oh, so dramatic. Ah, the tragic fate of. Alien races. Oh. So, yeah. Anyway, time to go get the 
the wave beam in a very special <laughs> searching for other half pike configurations they couldn't find like a scientific space name for it oh yeah we you know we create these half pipes but but you know it's a space game what do we call them i don't know just just call them half pipes amazing where are more half pipes all the way in the Talon Canyon. I think this is normally if if we went back to the to this room and we used the boost ball. I think this is maybe how we could get the sp the space jumps normally, the space jump boots normally. Ooh, I got frozen. I, f I forgot that was a mechanic in this game. We'll be back here once we get the wave beam. Okay, if we can't get that yet, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Secret cutscene. <laughs> Who's that? And still need to spirit. That's kind of a one of a kind cutscene. Like this game usually doesn't even do cutscenes like that, but yeah, there's some neat neat things. Ridley is in this on this planet doing something. Okay, so we want to go to this temple. That's where we want to go eventually. Do it a much easier way. Cordite, what's cordite again? Is that super missile material? I think so. I think cordite is the material that breaks with super missiles, so we can't do that yet. Boost ball, ah! Leave me alone! Yeah, boost ball is like the fastest transportation method, so I, like basically I should use that more, but. Okay. You are an ice parasite. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I like it when you get into Chozo places, like Chozo temples and stuff, like they start playing Ooh. oopsie they start play uh, like these these new songs and they s start chanting it gives a really mysterious feel to the to the environment like you know you know you're like about to discover something cool Okay, now it's this room. So, okay, normally... Normally there's something behind this room and there's a lot to do there and then there's like a boss to get the wave beam. But you know, that's like a boss, like or like a mini boss at least, right? That's, that's too much. So... Um... Statue is flawless. How do I break this? Oh, do I need super missiles to break this? One well, no, no, I think one of these we can break, right? Architect, the statue is flawless, so. Ah, oh, yeah. It's this one we can break. Because it's made out of brimstone. Yeah. So, to, s to begin with the trick, we first do this. Open up the door. 
I think it's to, tr to trigger the loading. But, okay, anyway. Then, the next part is we line up Samus like perfectly in the middle of this. We morph ball. And if we do it correctly, then the morph ball, if we can hold it in one direction and not move. So. Oh my god, yes! Whew. So, what we did there... Yes, yes, yes. This is a post Jeff here. Um, we did this double scan dash from that from that one floating platform in order to come up here, which you're normally not supposed to get up on. Um, we can walk on the surface here, but the edge is out of bounds, as you can see here. We can jump on from the back so that's how we get out of bounds it's not it's, it's pretty hard but not impossible okay so now what we're doing is like getting the ice beam early we're trying to load in the the next room but very important here that and that's giving me most of the trouble with this with this run is unloading the previous room because for the, for these couple of uh, next rooms there are not a lot of them um you have to unload the previous room um, before the other the the next room will load. So like this is this is this was required. Otherwise, like this room wouldn't load right now, um, and it can be very tricky. Like trying to like finesse your way through to loading and unloading these levels. So now here too we have to unload that tunnel. Um, otherwise, we can't do the trick. Um, so while we're finessing up up this here let me explain the the well maybe I'll, I'll, I'll let you see the result first and then I'll, I'll explain some more of the trick but we, we want to go out of bounds all the way uh, there to do the setup because we want to load in the next room after this in order to make some fun weird stuff happen um, yeah there's a lot of geometry geometry stuff here Trying to get to the, the perfect spots to get up where we need to be, and sometimes you have to like go into more ball and bomb a little bit too, like because you can get stuck at some places and you have to like get your way out of there. Um, but we're almost there. This is the room where we want to be. Uh, we just gotta load in the next room. <gasps> oh yeah, I saw the tire there. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one, this one was also really hard to load in this room because like it loads in and then disappears again, so like it unloads very quickly. Um, but now that it's loaded in, um, we can do some weird stuff. Just gotta get back into bounds, which is not as easy as it looks, as easy as it seems, as you might think. Um, okay, but now we're back in bounds and we can do the trick. We yes. <laughs> we do have to line up, um, but it's quite easy. Here we go. So we hold this for like a minute, and then something will happen. Just hold left for a minute. Here we go. Here it is. Finally. Oh my god, it took an hour of my effort. Here we go. Yep. There we come, we come this. That's the sign that we're ready. That's it! That is it, baby! So, it's not immediately obvious, but we got the wave beam and the artifact at the same time. Um, like we... Like we by loading in that next room and being out of bounds, we we messed up the the collision detection, and we were able to boost and like basically move while not moving, and we were able to yeah get to the next power up. It's crazy. That's it. Yes. 
can see now I got the sun artifact as well. And I can just skip the boss and have the wave beam. That's it. That's the glitch. Yes, I finally got it. Oh, that was so painful. But actually, actually, it's, it's funny. Like, I tried all that time to get it, just thinking it was a positioning, but the whole thing was it was important to go out of bounds and load in the next room and come back because only then can you infinitely speed like that. I thought it was like a collision thing, but not really. It's a out of bounds thing. So all that time I wasted, I was never going to get it. It was impossible. I needed to go out of bounds like I did and then do the trick and then I got it first try. It was super easy. Yeah, but the out of bounds actual stuff, that was the hard part. That was very hard. But I got it and I showed you the coolest trick. To Samus. To Samus. Wave and Sun together because, yeah, it's two Samus because it's the pickup animation for the wave beam and also the Sun artifact. And you get those both at the same time, yeah, it's crazy. Two Sams, too cool. Ah. Alright, cool beans. This I can't get in because I need plasma beam. I think it's big this is the artifact that I would simultaneously get with the wave beam. Uh with that trick, I think, but Yeah, too bad. Moving on then. Morph ball platforming. Yeah, that's pretty slow for the speed run, so that would make sense why they would do this trick. So there's the wave beam, so it isn't far at all. Um, but it's because. Something else is coming. You can actually already see it shaking. Kind of like maybe I can scan it and like. Somehow get it close. Because of course you can see a power up there and you know what's going to happen when once you get close there. You know. You know this is gonna happen. Alright. What are they called again? They are called... Shigoths. Yeah. Baby Shigoth. But only their shell is weak in the beginning, and then you hit the weak spots. And then... Mama's here! Well, she has right to be angry. We did just hurt her babies very much. The Supreme Predator. Is it like true, like this one is also like weak to... The boost ball, is that possible? No, no, no. But I think there was something... Some other strategy that I saw once. Here, Jeffy. 
Because I didn't save after I didn't save yet in this stream. So Is that the crystal absorb energy which you can fire back? Make no Alright, is it like it's like a thing? Ooh, it's gonna attack me. The underbelly, alright, it's the underbelly. I think we have to like morph ball bomb it. Maybe that's why I was thinking of Yeah. We have to morph ball bomb the belly. That's why I was thinking of boost ball. So see, you know, not a great mini boss at all. Nothing her Heruclean, but to get the wave beam still. Would have been cool to skip life. Okay, wave beam. This is the second beam you're supposed to get. But we already already have our ice beam, of course, with the skip we did before. So we have the wave beam. Wave beam is neat. I think it's the least powerful of the beams. Or maybe it's single shot is better than the power beam. But it's definitely a little bit less fast. But you know, it can shoot through enemies and hurt certain enemies and all that stuff. And more, most importantly, open the purple doors. need to scan it. No. Anyway, anyway, but it looks cool. Purple. And I, I really al always really liked how like Samus's gun changes. Like see like the power beam is just regular, right? But with the wave beam it opens up like horizontally. No, yeah, horizontally. Looks cool. And the ice beam opens up vertically. Uh, and we don't have the, the final the beam, the plasma beam yet, but I think it op the plasma beam opens up on the DC axis, like goes opens up forwardly. So it's just like a neat detail. That, yeah, I just really like that. Um, okay, we have a wave beam now, but first let's save the game. Fendrana Drift looks the best out of all the areas in the game. I think. Maybe the final area? Well, the the, the overworld also looks really cool. I think, ugh, they all look cool, but technically impressive and stuff. That's this one. That's snow. Yeah. Just... Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> 